Prince is dead. The military knows little of his killers beyond the fact that they bore mysterious Ouroboros tattoos. Suspicious about the circumstances surrounding his friend's death, Colonel Mustang began asking questions of his own. He learned of a possible conspiracy at the senior level of military command. Now continued their journey southward with Winry in tow, unaware of the death of Lieutenant Colonel Hughes. <laughs> She's in heaven right now. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen an automail model quite like this before. It really is unusual. Everyone take a look. Hey, Dang. Girl, man. Oh, that one gay girl. <laughs> My wallet. Gone. What, what did, did you lose? lose? Only the thing that proves I'm a state alchemist. My silver watch. Oh, the oh no. It sounds like you guys had a run in with Panina. Panina? A pickpocket around here who likes to target tourists. Do you know how I can track down this Panina girl? My memory. <laughs> We're gonna have just one more look at that auto mail. Auto you want to see this shit? Oh, she out here. Oh, give me that. <laughs> oh, I'm coming for you. Dang. Oh. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. I've been waiting for you. Whoa! I would have put this. I got gotcha. Right in the cage. You hand it over. My watch. Oh. She got out of mail. Can't be too surprised. What? A 1.5 inch cannon. What do you think of that? Come back! No way! Why don't we see if you can catch me? <laughs> nice work, Winry. And now don't let her get away. No way! I'm letting her go. Not quite yet, anyway. Not until I got a closer look at that auto mail. Yeah! Oh, oh my gosh! Talk about my watch. It's no use, brother. Oh, uh, she. <laughs> Oh no, don't look at me, miss. I wasn't the one who made them. I am. This arm seems a bit heavy. Yes, I guess it is. You want to be more careful not to strain your outfitting? That could be the reason why his growth is stunted. Hey, shut up! Oh. Wow, brother, you're so big! You've grown so tall! Next to me, you guys sure look small! <laughs> <laughs> Train me. Not a chance, girl. Hell no, girl. Maybe he's like four times take a hike. She's like, take a hike. I don't take on apprentices. I understand, but maybe you can take time. Can you just fix me up, please? please. Try to go five inches taller. Can it, you little flea? <laughs> Damn. Sorry about that. It's okay, mommy. Go right ahead. Inside mom's tummy like this once upon a time too. I wound up losing both my legs in the wreck. I couldn't even walk anymore, and I had nowhere to go. It felt like my entire world had come crashing down. That's when I met Mr. Dominic, and everything changed completely. At the same eyes as like Ed. I don't look like the most miserable, pathetic girl in the entire world. Nothing annoys me more than mopers like you. Let me go, you mean old man. Put me down. He said I had eyes like a dead person, probably not far off. 
The surgery and rehabilitation with King is by far the hardest thing I've ever done. But then... Soon enough, I was back up on two legs and I was so happy. All thanks to him. You're so grateful to him, you should clean up your act and stop picking pockets. <laughs> Mr. Dominic gave you these legs out of a selfless act of goodwill. So if you really want to pay him back, use that act as an example. Mr. Dominic would respect you more for doing that than for stealing. Probably. You know what? You're right. <clears throat> From now on, I'll work honestly to pay him back myself. So... I should probably give this thing back. No, don't worry. It wasn't you. It's been sealed up using alchemy. Ash. Open. Now, let's have a little look at what Ed was hiding. Find a picture of his mom. Don't oh, no, never mind. October 3rd. Year 11. Don't forget October 3rd. A date? In a storm like this, we can't get it to the hospital in town. I'll fetch the doctor myself. What's the matter, hon? Huh? Uh, sorry, one more time? I just scare my head off. Got to deliver the baby. We're just going to have to do it. Boiling water, disinfectant, towels. And what else was it? Remember it now. Winry. You can do this. I know we're not big believers in God. Maybe he could help us. Just this once. Aww. Inside your pocket watch. Ah! Ow, 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 that really hurt. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Henry, what are you doing to us? What are you crying for? should get back to Risenblue. You've been gone a long time. Granny must be lonesome without you. No, I'm not leaving. Why? <sighs> Seeing your resolve inspired me. I'm going to try again. I'll ask Mr. Dominic to make me his apprentice. Okay. Hello there, I'm your granny. It's always like that. It's always like the granny can be so strict and then he's like... Yay! <laughs> 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 Seems like the delivery was handled expertly. We are truly in your debt. What you did was amazing. Especially you, young lady. Thank you. Maybe you could make an exception and take on an apprentice? One has nothing to do with the other. I don't take on apprentices, and that's that. But. But. If that's what your heart's set on, I can recommend you to an accomplished engineer at the base of the mountain. I won't stop you from coming once in a while. To see my grandchild. Same goes for the tomboy. Hey. Oh, whoa. You saw that? Wanted. Now you two be careful. You too, Henry. Wanted. That wanted sign. Nice. 
all right guys that's it for episode 11 of full metal alchemist and this episode was very heartwarming uh pretty much um it out and when we pretty much stopped at a first destination at um rush valley basically the home of all out auto mill um and pretty much like everybody was just you know everybody was everybody in, in, in around the area was pretty much just checking out and it's auto mail it's very unique like very different from what they've seen um, and pretty much Penina, uh, a pickpocketer uh, in rush valleys you know she does that to tour new tourists that's that are new to the town uh, she pretty much took Ed's state alchemy um, watch a pendant um, and just basically a whole um, uh, cat and mouse chase going on and eventually like you know they, they they saw like the i guess you can see it you could say um pending its foster parents in a way and our caretakers so pretty much um you know mr dominique he's he seems to be like master master craftsman auto mill um in, engineer so um you know he made the finest I don't know. And he was pretty much the funny part is, is like he was telling, he was telling Ed that the automo is really he the automo that, that has been made like it's pretty heavy. Um, for Ed in a sense, and it, it probably might be the reason why his his wolf is being stunted. All that heaviness, if that makes sense. All the heaviness on his shoulders probably just stunting an area like for him to grow his body. So, um, <clears throat> yo, that was funny. Um, and pretty much winery. Um, that that pendant that um that uh, um every Ed's state alchemy watch. Um, that me had took. Basically, when we had opened up, and it showed October third, year eleven, engraved in his state alchemy watch. So, obviously, from that. <clears throat> I already put two together figuring out that that's probably the day um you know well it was probably it wasn't probably the day that it happened like but it was the day like i think when they had like pretty much burned their house down yeah it was the day when they, they had burned their house down i was thinking like when, when their mom had died just now, but like probably it was probably the same around that same time no not, no it wasn't that because they were already older so it, it was the day that they had burned their house down and that's when it started their whole journey so not looking back anymore or not having a home to come back to anymore um, <clears throat> and it made sense why Minnie was crying because like honestly um Ed and Al you know they're not gonna cry so like maybe it's like if you're not gonna cry at least you know have this uh let somebody else cry for both of you guys on you know on the outside when we delivered the baby um mr dominique mr dominique is one of those one of those um grandfathers where you know where, where he looks very stern and strict but when it comes to baby is like he has the softness it, it's, it's always like that for, for the grandparents for some for, for some strict you know mean looking grandparents or grandpa um so that, that was a nice ending um <clears throat> you know also the fact that ed and al you know even though ed said like i don't really i'm not really a big believer in god this and that but at least like for the moment you know like come through and look out you know for us you know this time so um and at the and at the end when it, when ed and al were about to leave Rush Valley to, to go to Dublin to the next destination. Pretty much before like it was it was pretty brief and quick. Right here. It showed three wanted posters from three different people. Now this one is Scar. He's wanted. Information board. You see right here. And it showed wanted another character. So he looks like he looks to have some sharp teeth. Sharp fangs and teeth. Uh, he looks like somebody that I seen in, in the opening. Third person, I'm not sure exactly who that is. 
that could probably be the shapeshifter. That could probably be the shapeshifter. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking. So that was pretty. That, that that's how you know they probably they had stopped by over here. Um. So yeah, now pretty much Winry. Um, Mr. Dominic was nice enough to pretty much direct um, Winry to a local engineer in the mountains um, to do some training over there. And also he allowed, um, you know, Winry to stop by and look at his, you know, look at his work as well as uh, Penning to look at, you know, his work as well. Um, so that was pretty nice of him to do so. And she and Winry's going to become even a better, a better, um, you know, Auto male craftsman, craftswoman, um, and creating better auto male for like Ed and Al, so or for mostly mostly for Ed. So yeah, that was a good episode, man. Um, on to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell, stay up to date when there's more Full Metal Alchemist, um, anime anime reactions, movie reactions, much much more. Come to the channel pretty soon. With that being said, guys, coach you out.